Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Rosie Cooks. Okay, today I'm making these beef ribs. These are short ribs, look how thin they are. They're flat ribs. They are the kind that you can find at a Hawaiian style barbecue place. I'm gonna make my own sauce. I'm gonna marinate them. I wanna show you guys what it looked like right here. This is, uh, this is the wrapper. Bone-in beef chuck short ribs. Flanken style, okay? Flanken style, that's what they're called. I'm gonna put all my ribs in this plastic bag and then I'm gonna pour my sauce over. I'm gonna let it marinate for a little while, maybe an hour, and uh, then we're gonna cook it in the air fryer. I'm gonna cook it in my Emerald Lagasse air fryer. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. So let's get started. So now I'm going to put all my ingredients together and I'll let you know what I'm adding as I go along. This is honey, regular honey. Right here I have ketchup. And this is soy sauce. Chopped fresh ginger. This is garlic, garlic cloves. I'm adding just a touch of spice of heat, chipotle powder. And these right here are sesame seeds. Okay, so now I'm gonna mix all this together. Okay, my sauce and my ribs are all in my bag. Check this out. Look how beautiful that sauce with the sesame seed. I'm taking out as much of the air, sealing it. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of move it around, make sure that everything's coated. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Oh my goodness. So I'm just going to let this sit for maybe about an hour or so. I'm um, just going to let it marinate. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and just let it marinate. Then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. I'm trying to eliminate messy. I don't want everything to get dirty. So I'm going to put um, aluminum foil on my baskets. Okay, and I'm going to lay my ribs on my baskets. And uh, then I'm going to put them in my Emerald Lagasse air fryer. I'm gonna let you guys see this. This is the chili powder that I used. I only used a half of a teaspoon. Ground chipotle chili powder. I found it at Smart and Final. You can use anything you want, but people always ask me questions. Okay, so my flanken ribs have been marinating for one hour. I put some aluminum foil on my little baskets and I sprayed them with the nonstick spray just for the heck of it. I like to spray everything. I just don't want anything to stick. So these are ready to go. I am preheating my air fryer. Okay, I have it on 400 degrees and I'm going to cook them for 20 minutes and let's see how they look. I might have to go up to 30, we'll see. Okay, so right on top it says preheat 400 air fry for 20 minutes okay when this little buzzer it sounds it's it goes beep then I'm gonna put everything inside okay my oven is preheated now I'm gonna add my ribs okay so now we're gonna go 20 minutes Okay, let's see what they look like. Okay, this is 20 minutes. They look good. I think they need a little bit more time. Mm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip them. So I'm gonna put these on top. And I just made a mess. And then I'm gonna put the other ones on the bottom and we're gonna give it another, a little bit longer. Okay, right here. 
These are my ribs. They're toasty. They look really good. They look like I put them on a grill. They came out really good. This is 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to put them... I'm gonna turn on my light. I'm going to put them on a plate. Show you a little closer look. Wow, friends. These came out so good. Oh my goodness. That marinade I made, it's tasty. It's very tasty. Very easy. Air fryer. It took me 30 minutes. And uh, you saw what I did. Very, very easy. They look like they look like they're off a grill from the outside, a barbecue. Wow, <gasps> these came out really good. So thank you. Thank you for spending time with me. Please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.